Hello booktube. This is uh, my weekly reads. Um, this one's going to be a little bit different than the ones I've done in the past few weeks because I'm filming this edition of weekly reads on Thursday instead of Friday. Um, so tomorrow or today when you see this because I will upload it tomorrow even though I'm filming it on Thursday. I will be taking the library. Uh, I'll be taking the bus to the library to pick up some more books and to return um, all of the books I have checked out to the library. So I want to go ahead and do a weekly reads so I can go ahead and talk about the books I've read and get the library books, yeah, ready to return to the library. <clears throat> so I won't be talking about a um, uh, what I my upcoming TBR. I will do that with the um, library hall. I will film tomorrow um, after evening because pretty much it's going to be a pretty good sized library hall and so that will pretty much take up the bulk of my uh, reading. And then from there, well, I'll talk about that tomorrow. So let's just hop on to the books I've read since last Friday. So first I read um, Rachel Maddow's um, Blowout. Um, this is her exploration of the corrupting influence of the oil and gas industry uh, on politics and on the environment. And while it has a promising start, um, the first few chapters are fantastic. Unfortunately, the there are so many th strands, so many threads of narrative of that the argument never quite comes together. It's just so confused. And I think had Maddow um, focused on a few threads, say Putin or ExxonMobil or the um, Chesapeake or even focus more on political corruption or environmental corruption or Oklahoma City or something, I think this might have been a much stronger book, but trying to get all of it together, it just made a confusing mess. And there are some stories that's like, why exactly are these Russian spies given a chapter? It has nothing to do with oil. Um, and I and there are quite a few others that are like that. So, uh, yeah, rather disappointing read. Now, mind you, it was a disappointing read, but I did finish it, which is more than I can say for the next three books. I had a triple bail. So on Monday, I started um, Middle England by Jonathan Coe. Um, so I, yeah, it just, it di didn't appeal to me. Um, I thought the writing was stilted and just ultimately, yeah. Yay! Sorry about that. Um, next I read, um, on Tuesday, uh, there was an appointment, so I read, started this before, while I was at the appointment, and then, yeah, so I basically, yeah, bailed on Duck's Newberry Report, uh, by Lucy Ullman. Now, Lucy Ullman deserves a lot of props for trying something this ambitious. Uh, this uh, sort of stream of conscious, just ramble for a thousand plus pages. And it can get incredibly poetic. Some of these um, thought associations and where her thoughts 
uh, the character's thoughts tread. But it's also incredibly dull and what's the point? So I'm just like, no. And then I started later on Tuesday um, Going Dutch by James Greger and this one pretty much pissed me off from the beginning. Um, I mean, it's basically every writer as a protagonist ever. I mean, and it's just like, okay, if you are a PhD student, you pretty much are incredibly passionate about the subject you're studying. And you should not be short of ideas, period. And I just, yeah. I thought the um, relationships would have eventually put me off, but I pretty much I wanted to throw this book across the room after the first few paragraphs. Ugh. Yeah, I'm channeling Sean the Book Maniac here. Anyway, so since I finished off all the library books and I really only had like Wednesday and Thursday uh, of like free reading before I was going to use uh, my Friday reads to start the book at the library while I waited for the bus, I decided, okay, while well, I have a sort of an anthology, I'm working my way through so I will read them stories from here. So I continued on with um, the Sword and Sorcery Anthology edited by David G. Hartwell and Jacob Weissman. I read so as I slowly go to the um, table of contents. I read The Caravan of Forgotten Dreams by Michael Moorcock, The Adventurers by Joanna Russ, and Gimli's, or Gimli's Songs by Charles R. Saunders. And I had intended on getting to Undertow by Carl Edward Wagner, but the, the you know, cooking and cleaning and other things kind of got in the way. So I have only read three stories. The Caravan of Forgotten Dreams I quite liked. Um, the Adventurous was terribly written, to be honest, and Gimli's songs I quite liked as well, although there is you know, a very strong consent issue with that story. But anyway, so that has been my honestly rather bail heavy and disappointing weekly reads. Hopefully, the books I pick up from the library and I will be showing you tomorrow will be bring me bliss as I read. But until then, I will see you tomorrow with a pretty good sized library haul. Until then, booktube, have a great evening. Well, technically day because I'm going to be uploading this tomorrow morning. So, have a great afternoon and I will see you tomorrow evening. Well, you, know. <laughs> you get the idea. Okay. Bye-bye.